Good morning, everyone. This is Ryan Mettner with your Wednesday, December 26th market commentary. Uh, as we always do, let's start off in corn here and say that uh, the government reports might add, to, uh, the lack of government reports actually, could add a little bit of pressure to the corn here. And the reason for that being is that we're hearing that we will get an ethanol report, and the last four or five ethanol reports have been disappointing, while we will not see either 8 a.m. sales or weekly sales uh, for exports for corn, which has been the supportive factor that's helped to offset some of these uh, disappointing ethanol reports. So we've already seen corn slide, likely pre-selling, already knowing that this will be the case here. So it's not to say that corn exports aren't continuing strong, but the problem is we will not get any official reports either at 8 a.m. or on the weekly reports until the government shutdown ends. Uh, so that's something that could keep a little bit of light pressure on corn funds. They currently stand at long 128,000. Uh, we'll mention two things in regards to the funds. They have been buying aggressively. They sold for two days last week, but then they bought again on Friday. So there is no clear pattern of them wanting to liquidate that 128,000 long contract position. Um, and the two numbers we need to keep in mind for them, that their record long is 4, 429,000. But in the last five years, they've built to just about 250,000. That's about as far as they've gone. So at 128, we could say that they're almost in the middle. They could build, they could almost double that position and get to their recent highs, or if something news wise comes out that causes them to liquidate, they could liquidate 128 to get back to flat, which is where they stand in the beans and wheat. They're flat, those two markets. Uh, moving over to the beans, the government shutdown is a bit of an issue here. Uh, our, we're hearing in the cash markets, there's cash talk that China will be buying 30 to 40 cargoes of beans this week. That's 2 million metric tons. That gets us to the 5 million metric ton total that we had been looking for. Now the problem there is, again, without any government official reports, we will get no 8 a.m. confirmations on this. So this is another reason why beans have likely been sliding lately just from the fact that uh, if you do have money in the market and you want to see supportive news behind you, you're not going to get it until the government shutdown ends. And also, if China really is making these purchases without an official announcement, it's, it's hard to get confident to put your money in this market to run it back up to where uh, it would be if we were finishing off these 5 million metric ton totals we were looking for. Uh, so that's what we're going to have to keep a watch out there. Uh, now again, it's Trade probably knows, uh, if we're hearing cash talk that China's buying these beans, it's probably known across the market. So what we're more concerned about is, is people having the confidence to put large amounts of money behind that. Uh, you really do want those government confirmations to get that. Uh, moving over to wheat, uh, trade is still focused 100% on exports in that market. So again, with the government shutdown, uh, not much talk. The one disappointing fact that we got just a few days ago was that Egypt made a purchase which left Russia out of the mix. Now, wheat traders had hoped if we leave Russia out, that means Egypt will finally start buying U.S. wheat. But on their most recent tender where Russia was left out, they did not buy U.S. wheat. That was seen as a little bit disappointing, and that also goes with a, a, a slide back down to 300,000 ton weekly sales. So a disappointing weekly sales report. A little bit disappointing that U.S. wheat wasn't sold to Egypt in their recent tender. Uh, has the wheat right back where it started before our recent pickup in exports, which is uh, March Chicago around 515. Uh, over in cattle, no reports came out on Monday. We are hearing that we will see cattle reports this week. The normal reports we hear, they had a normal holiday on Monday, so we'll see uh, show list numbers today. We should be hearing box beef. Uh, and we'll keep track of what they start. This is, we're basically going to start our day today for news and uh, have a short three days there. Uh, we'll look at uh, uh, the stock market we need to keep a very close attention on. Uh, moving to new lows on the year again on Monday. Uh, again, if we look at the cattle stock market correlation, it isn't exact, but any market that's moving to new contract lows or new yearly lows, the stock market, while cattle is within a dollar of contract highs, it's something we do want to keep focus on. Let me briefly mention one other market, uh, the energies. Uh, we've had a few people calling in about fuel hedge needs. Uh, crude has fallen from $76 here a few months ago to now $43.50 this morning. Diesel fuel in the same nature, fallen from $245 
to about a dollar sixty six this morning. Uh, those are some pretty significant slides. So if anybody's looking at uh, hedging needs for locking in next year's diesel fuel use, uh, you may want to call in and ask about those markets here today. If you have any other questions, just give us a call 800-551-4626 or visit us on the web, halendale-inc.com.